Hello and welcome back to Dax Electronic Repair. Today we're going to be doing an iPhone 8 rear camera. We're going to be replacing it. Here's our iPhone 8. It's a nice pink. Very beautiful. We're going to be starting with our Penelope screws. As usual, two of them. Take them out. That's how you start it. Uh, the reason we're, what we're doing on this phone is uh, the rear camera is making a whirring noise and shaking. Uh, what happens is these uh, cameras have a stabilization feature where basically it, if you're moving your phone around, it stabilizes the image um, so you don't get a blurry photo. But when it goes bad, it uh, does the opposite of that. It makes the photos blurry and makes a whirring noise so we're replacing it all right first thing we're doing is taking the screen off you start with a razor blade to get enough gap in there to get your plastic pick in there to go all around and cut through the adhesive and that's what we did first thing and the second thing we're going to do is take the screen off you don't necessarily need to take the screen completely off but just easier to do it for this repair. So once we get focused, I will show you the four screws we're going to be taking off first. They are all Phillips, and they are holding in the display. Two, one, two, three, four. They're holding in the display, uh, ribbon cables, and also the battery cable we want to take off as well. Connectors. All right, and pop that bracket off of there. One of the ribbon cables came up with uh, for the display with the, the bracket itself. The other one we pop off, and then as soon as we can, we get that battery disconnected. Because as you know, you don't want to play around when there's juice running through the screen. All right, now we got three screws up top to take the front facing camera assembly off and then we can get to fixing the problem at hand. And those were uh, Phillips as well, those three, three screws. All right, so we got our screen assembly out of there. So now we're gonna go ahead and focus on getting the front camera, uh, rear camera replaced rather. So it's actually the ribbon cable right next to the one we just popped off for our screen. And it is under this bracket. There are two screws holding it in. One is an actual Phillips screw and then the other one is actually a, it's a standoff. So it's not really a Phillips or anything. It is just uh, like an X. Um, I'm sure you can get a bit that does them, but what I do is I start it. You can usually, you might, sometimes you can start it with a Phillips. Um, if you can't, you go ahead and get a really small, um, just flat tip. That's what I'm using now, and you just get it started, and then you can get in there and get that standoff uh, all the way unscrewed. So that, what the standoff does is it's actually where another screw goes on top of. So we just took a screw out of that standoff um, that was covering that bracket that we just took off. So I'm trying to show you it. There, you can kind of see it. All right, so you take those two off, and then there's a bracket. Just pull it up and away, and nothing holding it on. Undo your ribbon cable connector that goes straight to your camera and just kind of gently pry around the side. Uh, on the top seems to work a little better, it pops out. There's not really any adhesive, it's more of just a foam um, layer in there. So you just grab your new camera, take the protective covering off that it came with obviously put it right back down there do not touch it obviously because then all of your pictures will have your fingerprint on them 
and that is not what you want to remember on your vacation. You got to kind of bend the cable because it sits down in there. You got to kind of pre bend it. So it sits where it will actually connect to your connector. All right. So now we go ahead and put our screen back on because we're going to test this camera before we put all of our screws back in and put it all back together because that's the smart thing to do. Now my bracket was stuck to the ribbon cable itself so I kind of pried it off there because it was bothering me. With these eight and sevens and sevens and eights mostly, um, it's easier to connect the front, the, the top cable first, and then because of the bend in the cable, um, otherwise you're going to fight it if you connect the the ribbon cables on the the bottom first. All right, so it did test out well. I'm not going to show you anything because that is customer information and it's none of your business but it did work so no shaking no noises it is all ready to go all right so we're taking the screen back off because we're going to put our bracket back on um, we do have to do that first because there is a standoff that it screws into all right so let's focus up and we will put our screws back into there. Oh, now these are non-magnetized. Um, some of the other ones stick pretty well to a magnet, but I, I think they actually make them they make them demagnetized for whatever reason. So that's why it was flying all around. It just didn't want to just didn't want to stick. So same process as before, you go ahead and start it with a Phillips and then you just go ahead and, well it looks like I'm going to put the other screw in first. You can either you can either let the screw that's going on top finish the screwing process or you can just kind of tighten it up with your Phillips, or I'm sorry, a uh, flathead screwdriver which I'm trying to show you now. It's actually a soldering tool, but it is also a screwdriver if you use it as such. All right, so we are on the final stretch here. We are just gonna go ahead and put our screen back on, <clears throat> hook up our ribbon cables. Like I said, you wanna stop, start with the top one because you can bend this, you can bend it back like that. And our two for our screen itself. And then we just go ahead and get our brackets. Make sure our power is off. Gonna do the top one first and then we'll hook the power back up when we do the bottom one. Alright, same process as before, just in reverse. One, two, and number three up top. Again, all Phillips. You saw me plug the battery back in and we're gonna go ahead and put the four in back down there sped up for your enjoyment all right now this one you want to angle in from the top first and then get the sides in the bottom and then you just squeeze it back together slowly down the sides um, the screen has a little bit of damage to it. Now the customer didn't want to replace the screen or the screen protector. They just wanted to 
get the rear camera so that's what we did and finally put your pentalobe bottom screws back in and you are completely fixed make sure it powers on thanks for and checking out my video ready go ahead and like subscribe and comment and, and have them see you next time money because you did it good job see Thank ya you.